Whoa. To the almost the uh, South Whittier area. Looks like we are going to be getting on the freeway as he cuts off another car, northbound 605. You know, I, I just got to throw this out there you know, because we, we are just watching this right now. You know, uh, we get these armchair lawyers, people get a hold of us, uh, you know, and, and they, they try to throw blame back and forth. Well, this guy's running because you guys are following him. Well, you know what? The truth of the matter is right now, nobody's following him. And as far as he's concerned, or he knows, or the, she knows, the driver of that vehicle knows right now, nobody's following. There is no possible way he can see or here the helicopters, especially not us. The Sheriff's Department is a little bit lower, but you did see how the Sheriff's Department was off to the side, way off to the side there. And so you have to have the idea that, you know, this person has no idea that anybody's following. Right now, this person just driving as nutty as they can on the center divide, excuse me, in the emergency lane right now at well over freeway speeds as we're working our way northbound on the 605. And this is where it kind of started earlier on. Uh, we don't we don't, we don't have enough information to know if maybe he's traveling back to the where he started but right now he's going to be northbound 605 freeway and nobody is following him uh, but right now this is not happening again on the wrong side of the road making another big illegal turn out here cutting other vehicles off through this major intersection and you know i can tell you we were on uh Sar <laughs> saragon saragon right there and, and now it, we're continuing on but <clears throat> this pursuit not a pursuit just a dangerous suspect out here endangering the public as this vehicle continues to drive along on streets in the Whittier area. <laughs> Up on the sidewalk. Yep, yep. <laughs> Definitely. No doubt about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right now, though, on the wrong side of the road, working his way up the hillside up here. I'm going to go a little bit wider just to make sure nobody else is ahead of him. But you can see these twisty, turny roads. Has one car going the same direction. I don't know if he's going to try to pass this guy or what, but on the wrong side of the road multiple times on these turns. Nobody up else up here. We're going to work our way through this hillside. Hopefully there will be officers when he gets his way down and this might be bringing this to an end. Turnbull Canyon, Hacienda Heights. Definitely don't want to see anybody innocent get hurt. You can see that there's some houses right now. I'm going to get a little bit of a wider shot, get you an idea on this hillside where we are. Uh, there's the helicopter. That's the sheriff's helicopter right there. And uh, the car seems to be really, really slowing down, possibly. Uh, either he's uh, just messing with that airbag and he's just not really paying attention, but it does seem like he's getting very frustrated in there on the wrong side of the road. He's got those guardrails that'll keep him from going over the side. Uh, but, uh, you know, definitely, they, if this car basically sputters out, comes to an end here, he's got a, quite a few places to run. Hopefully he doesn't try to get into one of those nicer homes out here, uh, but he does have a lot of hillside. There we go. Car is completely stopped underneath that uh, tree. It looks like he's kind of leaning out the window. I don't know what that's all about. Um, I don't know. Maybe he got out of. Nope, nope. Oh, there. He's still inside the car. <clears throat> still inside the car. Don't know what happened. Uh, value residential homes through here. Yeah, look at it. He's just swerving it around like for he's no having particular a hard time reason. And we're gonna, his wheel yeah, or something. It's just, it's just unnecessary at this point. We're going to pull out just, just to make sure on this blind corner that there is no one. Um, we're going to have the helicopter move this way so we can oh. see around here. Make sure that no one is actually coming the opposite direction here. But, oh, uh, he's he, okay, okay, let's look at this really closely. Trying to hide underneath the trees. Oh, okay, he's, he's out running. He left the car running. The so car. we're going to watch him. Suspect is on the run, running down through their area. The car is rolling. We'll see where that goes in a second. But we're yeah. going to keep eyes on the suspect. Male Hispanic, shaved head. He's right near that piping down there, yep. wearing a there uh, looks is. like a Tony Romo jersey. He's got uh, jean shorts on. We're going to hold right there, and that's a perfect framing 
to make sure that uh, Gene Shorts couldn't sell the tennis shoes right now, but he is trying to hide from that L.A. County Sheriff's ship right now. He is in the area of Los Lomitos Drive, the Tello, and there he is trying to make it through. Now you're going to see typically what they do, you'll see them maybe shed clothing if he's got a T-shirt under there, but right now wearing a Dallas Cowboys uh, Tony Romo jersey, Gene Shorts, and a... Uh, uh, tennis shoes and long socks again he is uh, now going to be in a backyard of a house here mm. lots of heavy foliage in there lots of heavy trees so we're going to say just a little bit wider because we, we're not going to be see, be able to see him moving but here's the here's the uh, what's great about the la county sheriff's helicopter they're down very very low and orbiting very quickly so they're going to get a much better closer look down in that area they're going to deploy la county sheriffs into that area right now deploy them in that backyard they're going to try to set up a containment or a perimeter around this suspect right now but we're going to keep eye on here and right now you can be assured he is slowly moving through that brush and through that foliage more than likely going downhill towards that uh, towards that house and we'll pull out a little wider rob so we can see the front of that house very nice pool very large house you know it is stopped on a hill and there is there is talk that he did jump out of the vehicle that's the reason why i'm staying a little bit wider uh, you know that that movement yeah, that movement we saw right there with the airbag or the steering wheel bouncing around, that might have just been because of the he went off the roadside. Uh, we're keeping an eye on it. The helicopter is, is looking right now as well. I know our, my pilot this afternoon, John, is looking out the window, uh, trying to pass along any information that we might have. But he definitely did appear that he was kind of like climbing around uh, it, it, out of the vehicle. But uh, it, it, somebody's the door. I, I'm not seeing any movement. I'm not seeing any movement earlier on. It looked like he was trying to climb out, but he, he jumped out with the car moving. We're getting that information now, almost confirmed. Uh, so we're keeping an eye on this area right here. Probably jumped down that hillside. Helicopter overhead, you can see that. See it in the shot. He's moving a little bit slower, much lower than we are. You've got to understand that as well. So they have the ability just to look out that window. We're going to keep an eye right in here. That was the last place we actually saw him through the trees. Looks like he jumped out of the vehicle. I am hearing the words now, confirmation that he has exited the vehicle. So we're going to keep an eye on this bush. And, and right now, it does look like what once was a pursuit chase, whatever you want to call it, now is going to be some sort of search for this suspect as he jumped out of this uh, out of the vehicle. We have a uh, we have uh, one person in custody here, just off of Turnbull Canyon, and uh, the sheriff's deputies have found the driver of what was uh, believed to be a stolen vehicle that took them on a pursuit into the hills above Whittier. Here, Will, how close was he to that house where investigators were searching, or was he really more uh, close to the road? No, I'll show you how close he was. There's, there, there he is being taken into custody. He was uh, found somewhere down that little road there, and the uh, car, the car is uh, basically in the trees right there. You can't quite see okay. it because of our angle, but the car's in the trees there. So he didn't go very far at all. He was right down there, not quite to the property where they were searching. So uh, very, very close. Yeah. All right. He's the land of this. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for that.